Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of that awesome official trailer for one of my most anticipated shows of the year, The Haunting of Bly Manor. That's right, I was hoping that around this time during this week, we would be getting at least one more trailer for this show, because that's how Netflix usually operates. They'll release two trailers, one a short teaser, and then one a full-length official trailer, and today, earlier this morning, we got an official trailer. I'm so sorry that I'm posting and uploading this so late, but I had an incredibly, incredibly di busy day work-wise, and while I was relaxing earlier this evening, I almost completely forgot about this trailer until I was on Facebook, it was in my feed, I'm like, oh right, I need to talk about this, because it looks so great, you know, it looks scary, it looks, uh, it looks scary. It looks uh, compelling. Like there's a lot of shit going on that's making you scratch your head and raise an eyebrow. Like what is this? Like what's actually going on here? What is happening? What's going on with these characters? Now I have only seen the original film, The Innocents, and that's innocent with an S at the end from 1961, which was super good and super creepy, even for an older movie. And then I saw that horrendous piece of shit, The Turning, which we're not gonna acknowledge and pretend never happened, because that movie was absolute garbage. But unfortunately, it was based off the same source material or book as uh, this show is, The Turning of the Screw. Um, I was under the impression that the only people who lived in the house were the two children their reclusive uncle and uh, the nanny who is hired to take care of the children after their parents die, and then at least one housekeeper. But it looks like there's a couple other people who might be living in Bly Manor. Not that I'm complaining, the more characters, the more uh, conflicting and more interesting things can get. As we saw with a great ensemble cast that was Haunting of Hill House, I'm sure Bly Manor will be just as good in terms of its cast and their characters and performances. So I'm very excited. It was teasing some scary new ghosts. Uh, the one in the mirror with the big glowing eyes uh, was creepy as hell. Also, they were teasing watery or drowned ghosts, which are always terrifying as well. And then finally, the shot that really sold it is when uh, Victoria Pedretti's character, who is the nanny of the children, is washing the dishes in broad daylight in the kitchen. And it looks like somebody's hands gently grab her waist and she reacts as if somebody's there and they're not. And she's surrounded by people in the kitchen. What the fuck? <laughs> it was great. I love it. I'm here for it. I cannot wait for this show. I am going to dedicate all day, October 9th, to watching and binging this show and uploading my review as soon as possible. I hope you guys are just as excited and pumped for it as I am. 2020 has been a challenging year to say the least, but at least we still get some really great things like highly anticipated television premieres like The Haunting of Hill House. Well, so I hope you guys enjoyed this trailer as much as I did. What do you, what did you think of it? What do you think is happening? I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your night. The Haunting of Blind Manor hits Netflix on October 9th in just less than a month. So stay tuned. All right, guys, have a great rest of the night. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.